So <coughs> the reflection analysis module is basically assigned for links over water or smooth, smooth surfaces. And here we have an example of a link over water. So we're going to access the, the link. We can see that it is uh, line of sight. We'll go to advanced profile and the, there is a new tab called reflections. So on this tab there is a minimum distance to a reflection point and a maximum distance. So what the system will do is we'll calculate the midpoint between those two extremes and we'll uh, try to uh, find a reflection point on that point and calculate the uh, magnitude of the received signal. Uh, there are two different options of uh, reflection analysis. One is called variable k factor that will basically iterate through different k factors that will be set between a minimum and a maximum. The default are for uh, standard propagation conditions, but you can go to superfactor or superfactor conditions if needed. And the other option is to have uh, antenna height. Uh, this option will uh, basically will uh, use the k factor set for the link uh, in this in the other uh, in the profile tab and um, will basically iterate through the uh, a minimum and a maximum uh, height in the tower uh, on both directions. That's why you have these buttons here to determine which direction do you want to see. So first, let's uh, calculate for the variable k. So here we can see the uh, graph that will show the uh, variation and the k factor on the x axis in a relative received signal on the y-axis. So the blue line represents the main signal from the main antenna and the red from the diversity antenna. And we can see that they kind of overlap. So that will basically reduce the, uh, cancel any potential uh, deep fadings that can go as deep as uh, 40 dBs. If you want to zoom in, into a particular area, for example, we want to see between 1 and 1.5 and see what's going on. We can just change that. And we can see that there's some uh, fading, some um, not so good overlapping here. So what we can do is we can come here and change the, uh, the antenna height of the diversity side. Let's say we're going to uh, reduce it and see what that effect that will have. That didn't have much of an effect. We can increase it to 68. And here we can see that it overlaps. Now we can go to a greater scale and see how that affects whole link and here we can see we have a very good uh, overlap that will give you protection. You can also um, go to the other side so we go now we can plot in the opposite direction and do the same operation on the opposite direction. Um, we can change the antenna on this side Let's say we put 68 on this side too, and we can plot it. You can see the overlap is good, and we'll go to maximum fact k factor of 3. So with that, uh, using space diversity, we can actually engineer this link to avoid deep fades.